magnify Hitler. It is time to win this great war. A new movie tells the story of the Allied invasion of Normandy, France, better known as D-Day, June 6, 1944, and the British leader who helped set that date. It's called Churchill, The Untold Story. I talked to Brian Cox and Miranda Richardson, the stars of the film. All right, so Brian and Miranda, the movie Churchill opens up on June 2nd. Brian, the most compelling trait of Winston Churchill in your mind that made him a great world leader during World War II? Um, questioning. You know, not taking anything for granted. And when, you know, when the question was resolved, he would act on it instantly. So there was a great toing and froing, which we didn't always see because what we saw was the unquestioning Churchill. Miranda, you know, this is an intriguing story about Churchill, the man, the politician, but there was also a presence in his life, an unflappable presence his wife, uh, whom you play. Yes, I mean, she was his uh, true helpmeet. She was um, a tower of strength uh, to him. She, she was capable of telling him off, as you see in the movie, <laughs> if she thought he was um, being belligerent and stubborn and wrong-headed. Um, she only was doing what she did for his best interests and for the country's best interests. Do you want to be cuddled? I'd settle for some respect. They don't complain when someone tells you the truth. And Brian, while you studied the role of Churchill, what were some of his struggles that, that you learned about? He, he had this thing called Black Dog. He was quite frail quite a lot of the time in mm. the war. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that Churchill lived as long as he did because he, had quite a, he was plagued with illness throughout his entire life. Winston. Oh. Good God. Oh. Yeah. I was working. Um, he drank a lot. Uh, I mean, his alcohol consumption was unbelievable. Legendary. I mean, it is legendary, but when you, you hear about it, you can't believe that he could drink champagne in the morning, whiskey at lunchtime, and brandy in the evening, not to mention all the wine, wine that he would drink during yeah. the day as so well. So we're talking about more so than three drinks a day. Oh, oh yeah. more, more, much oh, more yeah. than three drinks a day. It's topping up, I Top, think we call it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> topping up. And, then, and, the old, and the old cigars as well. So he was, you know, he's... he's, he's his onslaught on his own system was pretty incredible. I've seen this before. A quarter of a million men were cut down at Gallipoli. We must spread the risk. The plans for D-Day have been in place for over a month. I don't want to make the same mistake. The forces are not carrying out your plans. We're taking care of it. You need to let us do the job. I beg your pardon. I am the prime minister of this country, and I shall not be stopped from speaking my mind. They were both constantly on view. Um, Brian tells a story later on in life about how she watches him like a hawk. I need your help. Try acting like a hero, Winston, and then maybe people will believe that you are one. You know, she's always on his reactions. How is he feeling? What is he thinking? And then she would, um, she would cater to that. You know, she would respond to any situation. He what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, you, you pretty much answered it, yeah. Okay. But he couldn't have achieved anything without her. No. I mean, she was his rock, and it was a real partnership. And Proper. when you investigate it, you realize that he couldn't have done it on his own. He simply couldn't have done it because he was, he was plagued with his doubt. own doubt yeah, and his yeah, own, yeah. And his own uh, manic depression. He's not the man he was. He could be a liability as a leader. Would you have us do nothing with the Nazis massing 20 miles off our shores? No! I would have us do more! This magnificent effort of air, land, and sea, we must launch now. And of course, that vulnerability is, is, is very attractive, particularly to a modern audience, I think. Not to some historians, possibly. But to see, you know, the flaws which make up the great person. He had doubts, but then, as Brian said, once he got a clear answer, he would act straight away, clear and strong. Thank you so much for joining us. The movie Churchill opens up on June 2nd. Thank you so much. This is not a war for glory. It is a war for freedom. When it's all over, what will I be? You will always be the man who led us through this.
Again, the movie is Churchill, the untold story of D-Day in theaters nationwide on June 2nd. When Bay Sunday comes back, the best of the San Francisco International Arts Festival comes right here to the city.